All right, use spirit hunter shaman. Uh, I'm sure we need to up our deck. I'm pretty sure we do. Okay, so yeah. E well I need to get her uh okay, so will she end up taking weapon oh Oh, oh god oh that's okay she will end up taking fencing grace at level five so next level she'll take fencing grace so let's go ahead and bump that up um i probably want to get these two points up at least one so that's three points plus uh, essentially that's one two three so there's still end up being two more points to buff into decks and we can worry about well actually we won't, we won't need to worry about strength yeah, we won't need to worry about strength at all, so I think we can just dump it all into decks. Prisma helps with something, I can't remember. There we go. Alright, then level four is Evil Eye. That'll, that will actually be really good. All right. You, I think you're still... I'm pretty sure you're still... Uh, scoundrel right now. Um... No. We take your, um... <laughs> excuse me, dragon air, uh, dragon air scion dip. Yeah, dragon air scion. Okay, that's your first point. And then four more points, the rest can go to... Why are you saying strength for a rogue? Oh, this is probably toward the Scion thing. Anyways. Um, only four points. Huh? Well, we can skip on those. So that's fine. Doesn't exactly matter. However, we're going to go ahead and go gold because Buddy loves gold. He's agreed to a little butter. Okay, now land, 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 land. How you doing, land? Come here. Come hither. Land. Boom. Okay, so level four is, again, hunter. We're back to Hunter for a few more levels, and then Monk at 7, then Hunter all the way up to 16. 16 will just be Lore Master, and, seven, and then the rest of Hunter. Okay. What are we mostly upping? We're most... Okay, upping Wisdom. Boom. And we're just gonna up... Look, yeah, we're upping Wisdom all the way. Do 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 boop boop. Boom.
I forgot that he had lore religion. Like he had, a, I didn't see that he had a high stat in lore religion. So <laughs> we gotta redo all that. Welcome to welcome to streaming. Ha ha ha! Everything is in. <clears throat> well. Yay. I'm gonna go fill up my coffee real quick. Be right back. Sorry about that. Um, okay, we already know what we're doing with you. Yes, charisma is going up all the way. Okay, yeah. It would not be higher than this. So we'll just get our points and use magic. Oh, no. Not. Okay, yeah. Use magic device. Teag. Complete. You. Dragon Scion. Now, if he wasn't doing, now if he wasn't uh, dual wielding, I would probably try and turn a uh, Wolgif into a uh, a ranged character. Or if he was doing a one-handed build, I would actually do a Magus. However, that's not the case. He is dual wielding. He'll be dual wielding rapiers. Oh, that's good. What am I doing? I want fighter, darn it. Give me fighter. Thank you. Dragon Scion. No, that's Mutation Warrior. Thank you. Why? Right, well, I want to. Anyways. In the build list, it says brass, but it also mentions that it doesn't really matter what uh, dragon. Uh, what uh, type you choose because it's not going to matter in the end okay you back okay we're back to 100 upping wisdom all the way all the way yes out playing please all right uh main spells to be choosing from this is still level one. Let's see what we got. So, they're like wound. Probably grab that. Magic bang, we already got. Uh, Breakable heart. We won't worry about right now. Hurricane rainbow, we got. Field of faith and bless. Um, We can only choose one. So. Your light wounds. Hopefully, shortly, we'll be getting a healer. Hopefully.
Hopefully. However, mm. I do have three other healers. Wait, Z has this spell? Does he really? Wait, what? Oh, it's available too. On oh, the right, because he took... Oh, right, because of Oracle. That's why it's available. So Z actually has a free spell. A free uh, 1d8 plus 1 spell. A heal spell, which actually would... Actually, it's pretty handy. Uh, the rest of these <clears throat> are going away. Well, except for maybe you. Actually, you know what? No. Give me that. Give me that spell. What was it? Bless? Yeah, bless. Just... Separate those so I don't get those confused with the other spell. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we don't need that right now. I think... No, Wooldrift has the highest step. Stealth. So if that's the case, then we don't need you. Well, Z currently has the highest nature. However, by doing that, he will have the highest nature. So we'll just do that. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. oh, wait, acid. That's a good spell, too. Why isn't Acid Maw in the first? Because Acid Maw is great for the damn leopard. What the hell, game? What the hell, dude? Whoever built this is like, I don't think they understood Acid Maw. We'll go acid mod and bit that. Here comes our little ember muffin. All right, girl. Prisma. And that is going to go all the way up. Um, currently, you have the highest arcane knowledge. Until we get Ninio. And Ninio will be our main uh main caster. She gets pretty nuts. She gets nuts. So boop, boop. Um You also can get evil eye. On her case, it's Charisma. We'll say it reduces it to just one round.
the 8th level it increases well minus 4 um uh, uh which can cackle madly as a move action any creature that is within 30 feet of this of that is under the effect of an evil eye hex fortune hex uh protective luck or misfortune hex uh, caused by the witch. It is extended by one round. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, we'll do that okay so we'll get we'll get cackle probably a little bit later all right here we are so previous game she was our main uh she was our character's healer because we were an undead character who can only be healed by uh, negative energy in this run we don't have to worry about that. We can go straight to summons. Because that's what she's going to be mostly. She's mostly just going to be a summoner. Um... Yes. So, like, in the end... So, fifth level... She has... Okay, she does have precise shots, though... Which is great. <laughs> so, five. Ugh. It's gonna be awkward. So, five, seven, nine. I'm gonna go towards the summoning feats, which is spell focus, conjuration, augmented summoning, and superior summon. Okay, one second. I like this weird buzz that's like getting in the middle of my eye. Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that chat. So yeah, five, seven, and nine will be uh, dedicated to her uh, summoning features. Because we need more summons. And the fact that uh, this spell... What does it summon? It summons dogs or a wolf. Are our uh, right? Our oh god, this be this this will be great because our uh, no mistakes. Our song uh, is it's not just yeah, it's just it's oh his summoned and pet allies. Oh, maybe it'll still work. I'd have to see. We'll make things right. Yeah, I'll I'll, ha I'll have to see about that. Um. Anyways, I know what to do. I don't think there's anything needs to be done right now. I think we can come back.
Yeah, I think we can come back now. Because even if we go ahead and uh, essentially go through all of this, we're not going to reach level 5. So, one of the things I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead, leave and go to the Blackwing Library. Yeah, we'll, I'll leave, go to the Blackwing Library. So we can uh, grab our buddy, Fortune Teller. And then go from there, I think. I'll make a save calling, uh, calling it to... Uh, Leaving the square. Um, I do not want to grab everything yet. Not yet. So we'll go ahead and boom. Um, Blackwing Library. That's our next destination. Is this? Oh, 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 I, know, I think I know what this, I know what this is. It's Ninio! Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. I gotta admit. I think Ninio is actually my favorite character in this game. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Uh, who are you calling boy? Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will, and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Was this voice acted in our first run? Who? Oh, them. Just an audience. They don't matter. Consider oh, them no, a it, supplementary it, it, component yeah, well, of the because... coming experiment. Because this is our first time meeting Ninio. Okay, um... We're all gonna remain silent. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. Actually, as it's Azrigal, a glaive made of red adamantine. That is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep. And a cow. It's an aurox, as a matter of fact. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. 
I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy! We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Ask them some more, they might still manage it. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. God, she's so rude, I love it. Please, ask again. I can answer, I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? What? A F A Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, okay. Wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? Grab her and tie her up! And her entire entourage, too! The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. I won't let you hurt my friends! <laughs> I, love I love this game! Give me that giant frog! Bloop! Ribbit. What are you? Oh! Arcane Strike! Oh! Arcane Strike! Right? Uh, uh. Oh! Right because of the Arcane Strike! Ha <laughs> uh, Hold on, does that get... Okay, uh... But... Holy God, the frog like died. He, he just went dead, dead. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Oh, lie, that was a bit rude. Oh, he's almost dead, so we might as well. Um... Awesome. Get the saving throws. The spirits demand your blood. Into the fray. Um, all right, fine. We'll do some mites. That frog, that, that, the, that frog just straight up died. Yeah. Zap you. Why not both? Ow. Oh. Rude. Oh, well, he died, so that's good. Close. And, uh. You won't survive me. Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone just wants to save again. He has <laughs> Why? Um, anyways, happy Saturday going to the gym, but wanted to leave you a lurk, not a problem, Frankie. Thanks for that lurk, man. <sighs> anyways, how are you today? Um You are today's sacrifice. The light take you. 
Let's try this way. Yeah. There we go. 